Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. May you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, April 25th, 2022. I hope you enjoyed your amazing week. Now, let's take a relaxing brain break to start off this amazing week. Hi, and for today's brain break and SEL technique, we will be representing responsible decision making. Okay, class, please be quiet. We're about to watch a video on standard three through four. Come on, guys, please be quiet. This video is only trying to help you. Hey, everybody be quiet and listen. You're the boss of me. Sometimes you need to think about the best, most responsible thing to do in a situation because adding to the noise is not going to do anything. Responsible decision making is important because it teaches students how to consider their feelings as well as other people's feelings and well-being. Now let's continue. In this situation, the teacher asks the class to be quiet while she is trying to teach but the class just ignores her and keeps talking. We see that actor one acknowledges that the teacher is saying and trying to do, but actor one decides to do the wrong thing by yelling at their other classmates. Okay class, please be quiet. We are about to watch a video and send it three through four. Come on guys, please be quiet. This video is only trying to help you. Guys, I think the teacher trying to show us something. So let's be quiet and see what she has to say. Yeah, she's right guys. Let's just be quiet. The second time around, the teacher asks the class to be quiet while she is trying to teach, but the class just ignores her and keeps talking. But this time, the student acknowledges what the teacher is saying and decides to peacefully pay attention and tell others to be quiet and pay attention as well. Remember, responsible decision making is important because it teaches students how to consider their feelings as well as other people's feelings and well-being. So relax with us next time for our next Brain Break and SEO topic. Now, let's go to Word of the Day. Hey Randy, where were you? I was waiting here so we could walk here together. Sorry, I was trying to convince my teacher to give me a retake on the test. Oh, isn't it the third time this week? Yeah, I just wanted to be persistent, so maybe she will give me another chance. Well, it's good you're not stopping because one day she might change her mind. Maybe my persistence will pay off. Yeah. See you tomorrow on, on Word, Word of the Day. Day. Well, I myself can be persistent too when there is something I need to get done. Now, let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks, Peyton. Sports fans, welcome back to Sports Equipment Origins. Today, we will be talking about ice skates. Ice skates are metal blades attached underfoot and used to propel the person across sheets of ice. Hundreds of years ago, skates were made by people in harsh, cold areas to help them move quickly. They were first just animal bones sharpened and attached to the shoes with leather straps. That's before people realized that it was fun to compete and play on the ice with them and made some cool changes. They replaced the bones with sharpened metal at the bottom of the leather shoes. We have indoor skating rinks right here in Pines if you want to try those out over the weekend, kids. I hope you have a skate time. Now let's go to Sonia to see what's cooking. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch sure is amazing. It is cheese pizza, crunchy blend vegetables, applesauce, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teacher know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Sonia. That sounds delicious. The academic celebrations are tomorrow. This day is only for the kindergarten and second graders. Congrats to the students that have received this award. Sports fans, today our girls' flag football team has a game against the Aces. The game starts at 4 p.m. Let's go, Patriots. I hope you can win.
Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Get your smiles ready. Don't forget, picture day is today. Now, let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. I hope it's not cloudy. Thank you, Peyton. Hey, Patriots, today looks like a good time to spend some time with friends, considering it will be a cool 84 degrees Fahrenheit with private cloudy skies. In other weather news, we want to just talk about how Earth Day started. It started after a huge oil spill in Santa Barbara in 1969. This event made students want to get involved. These students chose April 22 as a date between spring break and their final exams. They soon realized that all Americans should be involved. It blew up and national events started popping up across the country. This event was then named Earth Day. Now let's go to Chanel and Destiny for Hot Topic. Thank you, David. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot, Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. I know we've heard of the world's oldest human, but did you know about the world's oldest dog? A dog named Toby Keith was declared a record holder for being the world's oldest dog. How old was he? Well, he's 21 in human years. That's 147 in dog years. Surprise, surprise. Taco Bell is bringing home a fan favorite. It's famous Mexican pizza. It will become a permanent part of the menu starting May 19th. First wings, now pizza? I'm all for it. Hey Chanel, what's one thing people couldn't live without? Obviously their devices. Well, today's dedicated to the one thing people can't live without. It's National Cell Phone Day. This has to be the best day of all. Hey Patriots, the FSA pep rally is coming up. I'm so hyped. I heard that Drumline and Miss Hart's dance team are going to be performing there. I can't wait to be a part of it. That's it for this week, Patriots. Now let's go to Valencia for the birthdays. Thank you, Destiny and Chanel. Today's birthday girls and boys are Enza Ponciano, Romaine Hazel, and Alani Chianti. Happy birthday! And today is someone's special birthday. Happy birthday to our OG, Miss Velez. All of RBTV wishes that you have an outstanding day. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Valencia. Scholars, here are your past expectations. They are present, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for last week's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Santori, Miss Stone, Miss Gonzalez, Miss Only, and Miss Iam Denqua. You all had the correct answer to Thursday's trivia question, which was, which country consumes the most chocolate per capita? The correct answer is Switzerland. Teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. What is the loudest animal on earth? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV Blog to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!